All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about what is called segment addition. So we talked in the past about what a segment is, where we have two endpoints and all the points in between them. So what happens in segment addition is now we're gonna have uh, not just a segment, but we're gonna have additional points in between the two endpoints. So one thing to understand is that, uh, again, collinear, point B is between A and C. Right, so point B is on the same segment as segment AC, whereas in this example, they're showing you that point E is not in between uh, the segment D and F. All right, so first we need to make sure that the segment, uh, the points are on the actual segment. We can, uh, for most of the case, assume that they are. So let's look at what the postulate says. Again, postulate's a fancy word for just knowing, you better know this, it's a property for uh, these types of problems. So in simple terms, we have this, we have this diagram and it shows segment AC, segment AB, and segment BC. And what this is, AC is the whole thing, right? Segment AC is the whole segment. Segment AB is a part, and segment BC is a part. Now, in most cases, they're not gonna be equal parts. They're gonna be two different parts. If they were equal parts, then we know that the, the point here would be considered a midpoint, which we talked about in a prior lesson. So what we have here then, is if we look at this, this AB is a part. So part plus part equals the whole thing. So that's what it comes down to. For segment addition, we add up two parts and it equals the whole thing. And there's two types of questions that we're gonna end up seeing uh, for segment addition problems. So let's take a peek at a, a couple of them right here. So the first one here, they want you to find DF. So step one, to find DF, what is it, right? So that's what we wanna find. So is it the whole thing or is it a part? And in this case, it's the whole thing. So how do we find the whole thing? We add up the two parts. So 23 plus 35, which they show you here, Right, 23 plus 35 gives you the total. So DF is the whole, DE is the part, plus the part. So on every problem for segment addition, first thing you must do, first thing is identify, it. is it a part or is it a whole? Okay, so that's pretty easy. We all can add, we all can use our calculators to be able to solve that. All right, for part B, they wanna find GH. Well, we see that GH is a part, okay? So in our setup here, we have the whole thing, which is 36, is equal to part plus part. Well, in this case, GH, the part they want, we don't know. So what we end up doing in this case is we take the whole thing minus the part we're given, all right? So it's the whole minus the part given, and that will give you the missing part. So that's it. We either add them up to get the whole, or we take the whole thing and subtract the part that we're given. Okay, so let's take a, a look at some uh, further examples and, and how this works here. Okay, so in this case, they want you to find XZ. So step one, what is XZ in this case? XZ is the entire segment. It goes from here to here. So if we're given, if they want the whole thing, we add it up. So if we add 23 plus 50, that gives us 73 as our answer, so 23 plus 50. Again, why are we adding? Because they want the whole thing. If we need to find the whole, we have to add up the parts, okay? All right, next one. They want you to plot some points here and determine if the segments are congruent. Now, here's some uh, interesting things that we'll talk about. So first, plotting the point, negative two, positive four is right here, and then three, and four is right here. So uh, they want segment AB, so we can connect these two. Okay, and by counting boxes, one, two, three, four, five, we know this segment has a length of five. Okay, so now C is zero, two, and D is zero, negative two. And we can connect these. And when we count, this has a length of four. So are these two things congruent? They are not. This has a length of five, this has a length of four. If they were congruent, they would be identical in length. Okay, so there's another example there about segments. 
All right, the last example here. We want you to find FH. Well, FH is this little part here, and that is a part. So if we want to find the part, we take the whole thing minus the part, and that will give us the missing part. So the whole thing in this case is 53, and we subtract 40, and that will give us 13 for our missing part.